Hi, I'm Lynn here. Um, it is day seven of the reading rush. It's pretty much finally coming to a close. Um, I still have about a hundred pages of Looking for Alaska left and about 250 of the Sisterhood ones, so there's probably a handful of challenges I'm not completing. Um, maybe if I manage to do things, uh, th today's a busy day. Um, I'm kind of dead from work from yesterday. I have a lot of schoolwork that has to be done by midnight or like 7 a.m. kind of thing. I have the video challenges, editing, making thumbnails, uploading, doing all that. Uh, the Instagram challenge, which I had an idea for what I want to do for that. And then reading. And amongst all of that, maybe I'll be able to finish one more book. I don't know which one I want to prioritize. Maybe the sisterhood one. Um, but yeah, um, don't feel too good. I feel like everyone's just kind of naturally crashed at the end of this and, uh, yeah. So today's challenge, uh, is, since it's the last challenge is usually, uh, the video is usually done by Ariel, the creator of this. Um, and it's basically to do a, uh, story time-ish of, uh, like your favorite book recommendation or the best re book recommendation you've gotten. And I think I'm gonna kind of cheat this whole thing and, uh, basically be talking about a couple of things. Um, one being that, um, that I'm kind of gonna mainly just be talking about two people who have recommended me a lot of books. Uh, and those two people are my mom and my sister. Um, I feel like one of the first, like, times that I ever, like, was excited about reading, not just in a, hey, you're discovering new worlds, but that I realized it could be also a social thing, was when I was very young. I started reading Eric Jerome Dickey books, such as Sister, Sister, and Between Lovers, and all that jazz. I was like, reading all of those because my mom was a big fan of those and I actually loved the writing. I liked what was happening. It was very intriguing. So even though I'm pretty sure I was way too young for those books, I appreciated that like, you know, they came into my life through my mom. Uh, one that both my mom and sister had been reading uh, and kind of, it was cute at one point we we're all reading the same copy of this one book because we all got into them at the same time and we all kind of wanted to read through the series at the same time. So they both were kind of getting me into it and that's uh, Maximum Ride. Read that like 10, 12 years ago um, or about now. <laughs> um, but aside from the general things of, hey, this could be, you know, also what reading is about and it could be about getting closer to people and whatnot. I also, uh, want to just talk about a few specifics. Uh, probably one of my favorite recommendations I've gotten from Sam, that's my sister, is Vampire Academy. Um, originally, when we went, uh, we visited New York, where my grandmother was living at the time, and uh, when we were there, she took us to, I think it was a Books A Million? It could have been a Barnes & Noble, but I'm pretty sure it was a Books A Million. And she let us wander, uh, cause usually she'd be like, okay, I'll buy you something. And she bought my sister a camera and I really wanted her to get me books. <laughs> um, so she bought me quite a few books. Um, one of which being a paperback version of this. Um, and then one of them being, uh, the first City of Bones, like, book. Like, the first TMI book. And, um, so I was excited about those and I ended up just reading Speed Bones and then getting so invested in it that I kept going with that series and Vampire Academy kind of got uh, forgotten for me and uh, like I kind of just left it on my shelf and forgot about it and later one day Sam was bored and she started reading my copy decided she liked it and that she was going to read it before I would ever get to it so she kind of just took it and kept it for herself <laughs> and then um I kind of just was like, you know what, like I, I get excited when anyone's actually willing to read, so I was like, this is your reading, I'll just, you know, move past it. And then, um, 
Yeah. Then later, when she started reading The Mortal Instruments, uh, I just, she told me that I should read her favorite book series, which at that point she had already read like all the books that were out at the time and kept reading through them. So she was like, you should read Vampire Academy, and I gave it a try, and I actually really liked it. I actually regret not reading it sooner, but I liked how it eventually came into my life because it was through my sister. And uh, yeah, it, I've been meaning to reread these for a while because it's been like a good nine years since I started reading through these, and it's been a while. And as for my mom, the other like one that I really want to like focus in general is just Colleen Hoover as an author. I know lots of people have issues with certain things in her books, certain elements are kind of problematic, but uh, I don't know, she tells a good romance, and uh, I feel like her artistic elements that she adds to her stories make them very unique in comparison to any other contemporary writing, um, and that is my mom's favorite author. So usually she'll read one, or I'll read one first, and then we'll tell the other to read it and we kind of go back and forth talking about it, and it's just, uh, I think that's my favorite experience, kind of bonding over, like, with somebody over books that you love, that's kind of my jam, and so even though, um, it's something that I was already meaning to read, and, uh, like, it wasn't recommended to me because obviously everyone in the nation already knew about it, Harry Potter's another one that, um, I've just been reading through the series pretty regularly to talk about it with my boyfriend because he's obsessed with those um, books, and I just, I don't know, kind of gave a half-assed answer because I talked about a lot of things by a lot of people, uh, but yeah, I'd probably say those people, the, the people that I love and that know me, I, get, I guess also I like it because you can kind of see an element of that person um, in their recommendation and see what maybe attracted them to the book and why you can relate to that as well. So that's about it. Uh, we're about done with um, booktube a reading rush. And uh, yeah, that's my final video challenge for the day. And um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my face and my books. Bye.